Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you Tuesday, March the 29th, years 2022. Let's talk trading. Trading better, part 16. As always, these videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. Okay, trading better. What exactly are you going to work on? Well, I touched on this yesterday when I mentioned, you know, about practice. It's just something that um, I think is kind of unique to trading. Well, something I've mentioned before, I don't know if I've mentioned it um, this past month or not, but in trading, you can do the same thing. And one time you get one result. And the next time you get a different result. So in other words, um, you can see price maybe going one way or the other, and you enter in that direction, and you win, or you profit. You take profit. The market gives you an opportunity. Same situation can come up that same day. <laughs> sometimes even that same hour and you take the same exact trade but you get a different result and this could drive you crazy because you know when you do something different or you when you do something the same and expect a different result that's kind of insanity but i guess in trading we don't really expect a different result we just sometimes get a different result and that's probably the one nuance that might trip traders up. So let's just take a look here through the charts. First, we can see on the monthly where we are, 273 pips below the monthly open, 144 off the low. Today, 94 off the low. Actually, on the week, 93 off the low. 43 off the open. And you can see here what's happened. And then all the gaps filled. And we get down to the daily. This is something that's interesting. See here, we broke through the uh, opening range, went all the way down to 3050, and turned around and came back up. Actually, we bumped on to last year's low right here at 131.60. And then came back down. So you can see last year's low right there. and 383 pips below this year's open. So we'll get to the inside bar chart. So here, let's say you went short at the 3110 yesterday. Well here, did you? if you went short at the 3110, You see what happened, maybe here, you made a nice profit. And then what happened? You tried it again, and you took a loss. That's enough to drive, say, you know, a beginning trader nuts. It's like, you know, it worked here, it worked here, but why didn't it work there? I did the same thing. And you start to wonder, and then maybe you want to start messing with your uh, method. Maybe you want to start adding things to the chart. And so you can see here, price came up, and then you took that short. Price came up, but it never came back down. So even on the one-minute chart, you can look. 
if you just used the candle color at the line, you wouldn't have gotten into that trade right there. I mean, you know, in hindsight, these types of things seem obvious. So one of the things to do to trade better is when you start to analyze your charts, and you see something like that you make a note and then you make that part of your filter so or part of your trigger so you know that's why i like to have the candle color multimeter so you can pick one or more candle color and decide never to trade against it i mean it could be almost as simple as the daily never trade against the daily candle color You know, and in hindsight, that looks so simple. You know, yesterday, candle was red. Daily candle was red all day. All day. You know, one of the things you can do is, um, if you like to run frequency distributions, you can pick a level and say something like high above the level and low above the level for any all the way down to the one minute chart and then you can see how many times that certain level has been crisscrossed or crossed so you could pick the daily open the previous days high previous days low previous days midpoint i mean there's just so many things you know previous candle top previous candle bottom those are the types of things that i look at when i'm trading and working on systems and so you might even come up with something that um you like to look at that i hadn't mentioned or you could even you know how many times has it crossed the pivot as you can see here, these European pound pairs, been a lot of movement. And look at the pounds pretty much back, I mean, not the pound, but the yen. Um, I had mentioned this, I believe, yesterday that the uh, yen had really taken off. But you can see here, it's almost back to where it was. So anybody who shorted the yen yesterday at the 125, You've been paid off nicely. You know, once again, here, here we have the daily open. And the buy zone triggered a few times, but look at this cross here. Of course, yes, this is H1. There was profit to be made. And you stick with the H1 candle color. So here, profit to be made. And once again, you know, part of the profit is, you know, how much is enough in a particular session? Because as I mentioned, started off with, if you keep doing the same thing over and over um, in trading, eventually you might get a different result. So you have to be careful when you keep trading in the same direction at the same level because sooner or later it's going to come back the other way it almost happens every time you can see here the price 131.46 and that's what i call the launch pad when the pound gets into the 40 range doesn't matter if it's 131.40 132.40 130.40 129.40 140, for some strange reason when price gets in the 40s, it just seems to like to launch out of them. And you can see here, you know, when it was in the 40s for a while, it was actually red, but it just turned right around. The H1 was red. Okay, red rats, get ready to feast. You're right here on the edge of the rat zone. This, we came out of the smart rat zone at the 51 level. Original rat is right here, about 44. 
45 area. But we've got a green M15 and we've got a green M30. So everything's green from the day on down. So you might want to wait for a signal here. That would be the prudent thing to do. <laughs> Pivot plan near the uh, pivot was short you can see here the first time it paid off the second time did not pay off near s1 the bias was long and for some strange reason i had that on m 30 but we can look at h1 we didn't really get too close to s1 but we did take out the pivot so we still didn't take out yesterday's pivot but we took out today's pivot on the daily on the weekly still need to take out this week's pivot and the monthly, unless something big happens, we're about 300 pips away. I wouldn't suspect that the pivot gets taken out this week, this month, the monthly pivot, maybe next month. But anything could happen. I mean, the yen moved 300 pips in a couple of days, so the pound could do the same. so in and out of that lower wick zone you know once again when you have these statistics this just shows you that sometimes it's going to do one thing and sometimes it's not and you're just looking for it to do what you want it to do more times than not and so you know part of trading better is just really getting your head wrapped around the idea that it's not going to work each and every time, but you don't have to change what you're doing because if you've run your frequency distributions or your back testing or you're just keeping really good notes, you can see when something works more often than not. It's kind of like the uh, lower high, higher low trade. You can see sometimes it works and then like right here, does it work? Not really. You probably had to scratch that trade. Or maybe you stopped out or maybe you tried to trade your way out i mean this would be a perfect example of a trade your way out where if you took this long hair and it went against you and then you got a second signal and you add it in well you see here it almost it actually got back to that level so this trade would have given you some nice profit enough to uh pay probably your commission spread or both combined so you know that's one of the things that we look for or maybe here even a third time you can see it actually got above if you if you could have waited you could see this particular trade would have paid off just depends on how long you waited but as i've mentioned in other videos i don't suggest trying to trade your way out um because that can uh, not work out. And if you're not careful, you can uh, hurt yourself, hurt your account. Price action, once again, simple horizontal line at, you know, prices ended in zero, or in this case, actually double zero, but trading with H1 candle color at the line proved to be profitable. We are actually in the upper ATR zone. And you can see here, the dollar looks weak compared to the pound. And red rats, hopefully you may have taken a trade there and you're eating some cheese. So fellow traders, just remember, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. This is the rumpled one. Over and out.